Moving now, the House of Representatives has urged the Nigeria Port Authority to suspend further awards of contracts on dredging and channel management across the country till the House concludes an investigation into all agreements entered into by the agency. This followed a motion by lawmaker Herman Hembe on the need to investigate dredging arrangements entered into by the NPA and subcontracting parties that carry out dredging operations in Nigerian waters. The House has directed its Committee on Mar Marine Transport to look into the channel management and capital dredging projects. The House notes that the basis of the MPA entering into joint venture agreements in respect of dredging and channel management with private entities is to provide the needed technical support, which should translate into increased traffic and consequently increased revenue. Also notes that the MPA currently spends approximately a billion dollars a year on channel management and capital dredging across the country. Recalls the failed Calabar Channel capital dredging contract where the nation wasted over 60 million pounds, 60 million euros, equivalent of about 9.5 billion naira of taxpayers' money without achieving the desired results. Is worried that the MPA may not have carried out the due diligence before entering into joint ventures with the supposed technical partners, and some of, uh, some of the partners are alleged to lack the technical abilities to, and technical capacity to carry out this function. The House is further disturbed that some of these transactions smack of incompetence, waste of taxpayers' money, sharp practices, inefficiency, technical incompetence, and fraud.